Lady Louise is unlikely to become a working property due to a common complaint. Lady Louise Windsor is currently a second-year student at the University of St. Andrews, and one expert says she is unlikely to become a serving royal when she graduates. Welcome to Royal Updates. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Lady Louise Windsor is unlikely to become a working royal due to a common grievance, according to a royal expert. The royal, 20, is currently a second-year student at the University of St. Andrews and has spent most of her life away from the royal spotlight, unlike many of her cousins. With both the King and Princess of Wales undergoing cancer treatment, many have speculated whether the younger generation of royals could step up to the plate and help. Speaking about the future of the royal family, royal expert Jenny Bond said it was doubtful that Lady Louise would take on official duties, for one main reason. It's clear that over the next 15 years or so, depending on when Prince George decides to take on full-time royal duties, working royals will become very thin in reality, she told OK. Lady Louise is a full-time royal, partly because I'm not sure she wants to be, and partly because the King and William know full well that the monarchy must be increasingly accountable to the taxpayer. Well said Bond. Magazine said it was obvious that until Prince George begins taking on royal duties, working royals will be very thin on the ground. She explained that she doubted Lady Louise would become full-time working royalty, explaining that she herself did not want that. She continued, the King and William know very well that the monarchy must be increasingly accountable to taxpayers. Having additional working royals means additional staff, additional management, and additional security cost. This is not a direction that King, Charles, or William wants to take. Bond also predicted that Louise would likely follow a similar path to her cousin, Zara Tyndall, who is a much-loved member of the royal family while also enjoying her independence and freedom.